have many friends waiting in line to have some pizza at our new pizza shop. We better get going. Let's make some pizzas. Our first customers are Gabby and Cakey. And let's see what kind of pizza they'd like to order. Gabby would like tomatoes on her half of the pizza. And Cakey would like anchovies on their half of the pizza. Okay, Gabby and Cakey, we'll get to making your pizza right away. Let's find the pan that matches this pizza. Here it is. This pan is divided into halves. One over two means half. Now, let's find the pizza that also matches one over two, or half. Yes, this one. This matches one over two, one over two, or half. Let's break our pizza in half. And we'll put one half here and one half here. We don't need these right now. Now let's make our ingredients. So we need some tomatoes and some anchovies. I have red, brown, and green. Which one should we use for the tomatoes? Red. Let's make some red tomatoes. Take a little bit out and I'll make little circles like this and we'll make a bunch to put on top. I think that's enough tomatoes and I can use my fingernail to make little seeds. Gabby's pizza is ready, but we still need to make Cakey's pizza. Cakey wants anchovies. Which color should I use for the anchovies? Yeah, this brownish color. Pull up the brown dough. And let's make some anchovies. Anchovies look like little fish. So if they move in oval body and make a little tail at the end. There. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, we made a half tomato, half anchovy pizza. There you are, enjoy your pizza. Our next customers are here, Elmo and Abby Cadabby. Let's see what kind of pizza they would like to order. Abby would like olives on her half of the pizza, and Elmo would like red peppers on his half. Hey, those red peppers are red, just like Elmo. All right, let's get started. First, let's pick which pan we should use. Yes, we use the pan that has half. One over two, half. It's divided directly in half. They'll each get the same size of pizza. And which pizza slices should we use? That's right, one over two, half and half. That'll make a whole pizza. Now we need to make some green olives. Let's use the green dough. These green olives are a circle with a hole in the middle. So I'm going to roll, roll the dough and roll, fold it into a circle. There, there's an olive. Let's make a few more. Great, we have our olives. Now let's make the red peppers. 
I'm going to use the red gel. The red peppers are sort of a flower shape with a hole in the middle. Push it together. And let's pinch it in. Make it look more like a pepper. Great, our pizza is ready. Half olive and half red peppers. Yay! Enjoy your pizza, Elmo and Abby Kadabby. Okay, let's go to the next customer. Our next customers are here. We have Cookie Monster, Big Bird, and Oscar the Grouch. I wonder what kind of pizza they'll want. Oh. They each want to order their own type of pizza. Big Bird would like anchovies. Cookie Monster would like sausages. And Oscar would like basil. Oh, the basil's green, just like Oscar. Okay, we'll get right on it. Now we will divide the pizza into three equal parts, or three thirds. One third plus one third plus one third equals a whole pizza. So let's find the pan that is divided into three equal parts. There it is. One over three. That means one third. One, two, three. Three equal parts. And we need a pizza that's also divided into three parts. This looks right. It matches. One third, one third, and one third. Now we can cut our pizza in thirds to help us build it. Next, we need some sausages. Hmm, what color should we use to make the sausages? Oh, this is brown. And if we mix a little red in, it'll give it a darker color. Let's make some sausage. We have anchovies, sausage. Now time for the basil. Basil is green. The basil is shaped like a leaf. So let's give it a little leaf shape. Now we have a pizza with one-third anchovies, one-third sausage, and one-third basil. Okay, eat up! Our next customers are here. We have Rapunzel, Cinderella, and Belle. They're pretty hungry. What kind of pizza do they want? They would like a pizza with one-third green peppers, one-third mushroom, and one-third pepperoni. That sounds like a delicious pizza. We'll get it started right away. First, let's figure out which pan we need. We need the one that's divided into thirds, one over three. There it is, one over three.
and which pizza slices match this pan. Yeah, these that have one over three. This is a one third slice. One, two, three. Three equal pieces. Time to make the pizza. Let's use green to make the green peppers. Maybe not the best peppers, but you get the idea. We can use our imagination. Now, let's put some pepperoni on. We'll use red. Mixed with a tiny bit of brown. Let's put all in. Pepperonis are a round shape. Sometimes I just use my thumb and press it down and look, pepperoni. Okay, now we have green peppers, pepperoni. The last thing we need are mushrooms. Let's use the brown to make the mushrooms. Maybe I'll mix some tiny, tiny, tiny bit of green in with the brown. Let's see what happens. I'm going to make more of a grayish color. Okay. So mushrooms have half and Mushroom. Great. Now we have a pizza that's one third green peppers, one third pepperoni, and one third mushrooms. Enjoy your pizza, princesses. All right, let's go to the next customer. Our next customers are the Healer family. Bluey, Bingo, Chili, and Bandit. And let's see what they would like on their pizza. Oh, they want a pizza that's one-fourth sausage, one-fourth red peppers, one-fourth green peppers, and one-fourth mushrooms. They want a pizza that's divided into four equal slices. One, two, three, Four. Okay, healers, coming right up. Okay, let's make the pizza for the Bluey family. We need a pan that's divided into four equal pieces. Do you see a pan that's divided into four? This one. One, two, three, four. Four equal parts of four. One, two, three, four. And we need the pizza that will also be divided into fourths. Not this one. Not this one. It must be this one. One over four. One over four. One over four. One over four. This is one of four pizzas. So now we can cut our pizza. First we cut it in half, and then we cut it in half again. One, two, three, four. Four equal 
equal slices. Equal means they're all the same. They're all the same size. Now let's look at what toppings we need. We need one fourth sausage. One fourth mushrooms. One fourth green peppers. And one fourth red peppers. We did it. We created a pizza. Bon appetit. Our next family is the Peppa Pig family. Daddy Pig, Mommy Pig, Georgie Pig, and Peppa Pig. Let's see what kind of pizza they would like to order. They would like a pizza that's one fourth olives. 1 4th pepperoni, 1 4th basil, and 1 4th anchovies. They would like a pizza that's divided into four equal slices. 1, 2, 3, 4. Coming right up. We need a pan that's divided into four equal sections. 1, 2, 3, 4. Which one is divided into fourths? One. one over four. One part of four, one more part of four, one more part of four, and another part of four. And let's use our pizza slices that are in four equal slices. See how they're all the same size? One, two, three, four. Okay, now let's make our pizza. First, let's put olives on one fourth of the pizza. Next, let's put pepperoni on one fourth of the pizza. Next, let's put basil on one fourth of the pizza. Next, let's put anchovies on one fourth of the pizza. We did it. We made a pizza that's one fourth olives, one fourth pepperoni, one fourth basil, and one fourth anchovies. One, two, three, four. Itadakimasu. Our next customers are from Trolls. And let's see what kind of pizza they would like. Oh, it looks like they'd like a pizza that's one fourth mushrooms, one fourth tomatoes, and one half basil. Are you gonna eat a whole half a pizza by yourself? Yes, I'm hungry. Okay, great. We'll get right on it. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. We need a pan that shows one half and two fourths. Which one do you think is the best pizza pan to use? This one will work because we can use one fourth and we can cover this side with half. Now we'll also need two fourths and one half. Well, this one won't make it. Let's see, two fourths, one, two, and one half. That'll do, and we don't need these. Do you notice that two fourths is the same as one half? They're equal. Two fourths equals one half. Let's see what we need to put on our pizza. Let's start with mushrooms on one fourth of the pizza. Next, let's put tomatoes on one fourth of the pizza.
Last, let's put basil on one half of the pizza. Great. Now it's time to eat your pizza. Enjoy. It's Elsa, Anna, Kristoff, and Olaf. They want some pizza now. Let's see what kind of pizza they would like to order. Oh, they're a little bit complicated. They want a pizza that's one six with no toppings, one six olives, one third pepperoni, and one third red peppers. Hmm, this might be a little tricky, but we're smart and I know we can figure it out. Let's go make this pizza. Okay, for this pizza recipe, it looks like our smallest slice will be one sixth of the pizza. So I grabbed a one sixth sliced pan. This pan shows six equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Each of these is one sixth of pizza. We'll need two sixths and two of the one third pieces. So here's our one third, one over three. And here's another one third, one over three. And if you see, one third is the same as one, two, six. One third equals two six. So then we still need two of these. So let's break up our one six pieces. that are one sixth size. One, two. Okay, now let's turn them over and let's build our pizza. Now let's look at our pizza recipe. So on one sixth of the pizza, they want no toppings, nothing. So we'll need this six with no toppings. Next, one six with olives. Olives. So let's put some olives here. Next, one third pepperoni. So we'll put pepperoni on this third. Last, one third red peppers. Red, red, I can read that word. Red peppers. Okay, we made our pizza. Let's go tell the customers. I think Olaf loves his pizza. Okay, we have a couple more customers waiting. Let's go serve them. Our next customers are Rubble, Marshall, Sky, and Chase from Paw Patrol. I'm sure they're hungry after all the hard work that they do to save the city. So let's make them a pizza. All right, it looks like another kind of complicated one. Let's see. One six olives, one six basil, one six sausage, and half pepperoni. Okay, they're not making it easy, but I know we can figure it out. Let's get on it. This pizza's gotta bake. Hmm, I'm trying to decide which pan I should use for this recipe. This recipe calls for one six olives, one six basil, one six sausage, and half, or one over two, pepperoni. 
Should I use the one with one half or should I use the pan with one fifth? I think I should use this pan because that will make it easier to divide up all my smaller portions. So I'll put this pan away. And let's see, how many slices of one six do I need? One, two, three. Let's get three six. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that means we need one half. That means one half is the same as three six. Three six equals one half. Now let's put the toppings on our pizza. Let's start with the olives. One six olives. One six basil. One six sausage. and one half pepperoni. Wow, that looks like a delicious pizza. Let's go tell our customers it's ready. Bravo, are you gonna eat that whole half of pizza by yourself? You bet I am. Nom 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 nom. Okay, we have one more pizza to make. Let's do it. All right, it's our final group of the day. We have Zuma, Everest, Rocky, and Liberty here to order a pizza. Let's see what they want to eat today. Oh, it looks like they want a pizza that's one eighth sausage, one eighth olives, one fourth tomatoes, and half no toppings. Okay, well, you're not making it easy for us, but after all of our practice today, I know we can do it. Let's go. Okay, it's time for our last pizza of the day. So for this recipe, we need one eighth sausage, one eighth olives, one fourth tomatoes, and one half no toppings. This should be interesting. Let's see, should I use the pizza pan? that's divided in half, or should I use the pan that's divided into eighths? Yeah, let's use the one that's divided into eighths. It will be easier to sort out our toppings that way. And let's see, how many slices of one eighth will we need? One, two. Here are my one eighth slices. How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This pizza is divided into eight equal pieces. Eight equal parts. So I need one, two, two eighths. One, two, and I need one, one fourth, and I need one half. And now we can build our pizza. Put the half on this side. One eighth. Two eighths. It looks like two eighths is the same as one fourth. Two eighths equals one fourth. One two, two eighths. 
and one fourth plus two eighths equals half. Now let's build our pizza. We need one eighth sausage. One eighth olives. One fourth tomatoes. And one half, no toppings. Well, that's easy. Great, let's tell our customers that their pizza's ready. Enjoy. Wow, you must be hungry, Liberty, to eat such a big piece of pizza. Thanks for playing with me today and helping me build these pizzas. I hope you learned a little bit about fractions. Do you like pizza? What's your favorite thing to put on a pizza? I love mushrooms and spinach and broccoli sometimes too. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you at my next learning video. Bye.